At the bottom of the world, in a tiny little place, Aotearoa is turning into waste. Everyone wears masks to breathe fresh air, for there are no trees or clean oxygen there. And one little girl who sat on her knees wondered what happened to all of the trees. She asked her mum, why am I hyper? And mum replied, go visit Mr. Developer. But to hear the story you must have with you, a fine kiwi feather, a tiki, and punamu. So the girl set off, tanga in hand, to find Mr. Developer on that morbid rotting land. She saw a wrecked town on a small narrow road, and on a great pile of rubble stood a statue of a toad. With each footstep she took, was a sense of pure dread at what she might find and what lay ahead. But she remained strong, for she was a hoper, so onward she strode to Mr. Developer. She pushed the doorbell into her shop. A tui came out of a cuckoo clock, which banged on a rock sitting on the shelf, which wobbled and wobbled, unwedging itself. The rock came tumbling, crashing on the plank that the girl was standing on. It went with a whack. The girl went flying, landing hard on the ground. Through her tears she looked up, and from the window came a sound. Who darings my door? boomed a voice from somewhere. Who are you, you crazy child? And why are you here? The girl shivered and shook, but she rose. She uttered, Kikaha, and her words bravely flowed. I want to know what coiled the tree. I brought the tongue so tower's key. She placed her precious gifts into the pail, then held her breath, not wanting to fail. The rope groaned slightly as it left the ground, but from everything else there came no sound. Suddenly, the air exploded, a show of glory. Okay, settle down. I'll tell you the story. I was a young lad on a winding lane, in need of some land not quite so plain, when I found the space with lots of trees, perfect for houses and all people's needs. The sky was so blue, the grass was so green, the water was clear and all was clean. There were Pukeko and Takahe, and in the blue sea, we hit these dolphins, jumping high with glee. So I unpacked my cart and found my axe and cut down a tree with one mighty smack. All the animals fell silent, even the mice. Was I really so bad? No, I was really quite nice. I took it away, slid it into my tent, to straighten it up as the branches were bent. Then out of the blue, a storm ripped the sky. All the animals hid, but I didn't care. Ha ha, so brave was I. I carried on chopping like a rolling boulder, when suddenly, silently, I felt a hand on my shoulder. No, listen, my friend, you need to stop, please. You cannot chop down all of my trees. 
Now, if there are no trees, there's no fresh air, and nothing, no nothing will be left living here. Now, I do not know exactly who he was, but no way was he going to be boss. So I said, now listen here, lad, whoever you are, I have travelled near, and I have travelled far, to find a place that is perfect for homes, where children can play, and dogs can fetch bones. And I will continue to chop down the tree, so I would prefer it if you would please leave. He said, I am tired to speak for the forest. I am the keeper, and I am the forest. And you, my friend, are wrecking our home. We want the animals to play, and swim, and roam. You should leave now, before you get hurt, because I guarantee this will not work. I never saw him again until I built my new house. He snuck up again, as quiet as a mouse. You will never smell that. The trees are the best, where all the creatures can live without destroying the rest. But I proved him wrong, because on the first day, a man came up and he was willing to pay. So I called my family with a high laughing pitch. Ha ha, come on guys, we're going to be rich. In no time at all, my Fanu came too. Then Tane stood up and just muttered, You. Hello pumpkin, mum cried. We're your new company. And who, may I ask, are you meant to be? I am Tane, guardian of the forest, the maker of great trees. I am nature's forest. Your son here is destroying my nation. Now go tell him all. Soon there will be no creation. Now don't you go being angry at my D. He's doing great with his new company. So shoo. Go away, and we will build more hotels, houses, and, hmm, a great big store. And ever so quietly, in despair, he said, What's the matter with you? You have lost your head. But I carried on, building my town, chopping down trees, to clear the ground. And soon we saw people living in that place. I was living the dream, a big smile on my face. Steadily we cleared every trunk, branch and leaf, ignoring the creatures full of sadness and grief. And the last tree crashed as it shuddered on the ground. The forest fell silent, not a whisper, not a sound. Then Tano appeared with a tear in his eye. Look what you've done. Oh why, oh why, the kiwis are vulnerable, they cannot hide. For they have no holes to snuggle inside. The set hedges dolphin, who cannot wear a mask, struggles with the most simplest of tasks. The deprived to a tower is now also oh glum, for he has no paper to wipe his bum. The creatures are dying, they have scattered afar. The land is now barren, so to you, I did off. 
Then he wrote a word that meant the whole range. That word said it all. I needed to change. From the building above, there came a great sigh. The girl thought on this word and started to cry. Come now, there's no need to weep. There's no fire on the match. Here, hold out your hands. Get ready to catch. He dropped a small seed and she sank to her knees. You can start the change. Now, go save all our trees. Go find a good spot with plenty of sun. Plant it and water it and then it's all done. Check it and water it, treat it with care. For with time a blessing it will flourish there. Get everyone together, I know you will cope. Go share the love, go share the hope. The girl darted off to reunite all those hopers with the seed she had collected from Mr. Develope. First one tree appeared, then twos, then threes, and soon Aotearoa was clothed in trees. The kiwi came back, dolphins danced in the sea, then the tuatā returned, so very happy. From within this new forest, Tane breathed the fresh air. We need some more hopers. People like you who care. It's about 